Hey everyone, this is Felix. You can use Excel and iLogic to automate some of your parts uh, by extracting data from an Excel file. So to demonstrate this, I have this very simple pipe spacer that is going to extract information from this Excel file depending on what pipe size it is and what schedule. So let me demonstrate how it works. If I go up here to my parameters, if I select half, uh, one and a half pipe size, it's going to change the OD and the ID up here. If I want it a little bit thinner and I select 40 uh, schedule, it's going to change that ID. It looks smaller now. All right, now I'm going to get started with uh, how to write this code. But before I get started, make sure you hit that like button if you like these videos and leave a comment down below if you have any questions or any suggestions on what you'd like to see in the upcoming videos. All right, so let's get started with uh, writing the rule. I'm just gonna delete this one. I'm gonna add a rule <clears throat> but before we begin we want to visualize what it is that we want to do with this code what we want to do is find these data points by telling what pipe size we want and what schedule uh, we want to use so that's what we want to do so we're now we are going to go to the snippets down uh, over here on the left uh, that inventor provides we're going to start by double clicking this we first have to open up that excel file so we're going to double click that and we're going to open up that Excel file. I'm actually going to make a string uh, called S file so that we could uh, name this Excel file. So I'm going to copy the path of this uh, file backslash and then I'm, I'm going to copy this right here. So that's our file. Right here, what it's asking us to do is to type our file name, which we could put S file. And then right here, it's asking for the sheet name. So if we go back to our Excel file, there, the name of the sheet is called standard. Standard, all right. So now we've opened the file. Now we want to find which row matches our pipe size and our schedule. So we're going to go over here and we're gonna think, hmm, all right, which one would do this? We need to find the row. And <clears throat> what this, I, I'm gonna select this one these are if it's embedded into this Excel sheet, uh, but let's let's double click on this one. We don't need this I. This is basically the I is basically telling us what row it is, uh, but we don't need to use it for this. Well, what this is asking once again the uh, this Excel file name, S file, and then we're gonna type standard here for the column name. Uh, for this portion of the code, it's asking search this column and then locate by this value so right here the col the first column we want to search uh, search by is pipe size so let me copy this i'm going to copy that and paste it over here and we want to make that equal to or we want to search by pipe size which is this right here or this parameter right there and let's set that equal to pipe size and then we want to search by the next column the next column is schedule and we're gonna set uh, we're gonna locate that by our parameter called schedule now we found the row in order to uh, set now we can set our ID and our OD because we've we found the row uh, we, all right I think that's self-explanatory so we're gonna write OD is equal to now we, here we had to uh, figure out how we're going to get that value. So we found the row. Now we just gotta find the column name. So right here, current row value is what we're going to need. So let's double click that, this. <clears throat> and right here we're gonna type the column name. So our OD is equal to this column right here called OD. And then our ID is equal to Go Excel current row value ID and then let's go ahead and type go Excel close and we could also find that function right here go Excel close so now this should work let me just suppress this row right here so that it doesn't run that one so now if we go back to our parameters and we change this let's say I wanted a one inch pipe spacing then it's going to go ahead and change on that Excel file. All right, hopefully this video was helpful. 
Uh, if you like these videos, make sure to subscribe. I make beginner to iLogic, uh, for iLogic, iLogic for beginners videos. All right, talk to you guys later.